What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Bible with the Daily Diver. Last time, Bible chapter 7, chapter 1 of Samuel. The birth of Samuel. But today, guys, we're going to chapter 2 of Samuel, Hannah's prayer. Then Hannah prayed and said, Then Elkanah went home to Ramah, but the boy ministered before the Lord under Eli the priest. Eli's wicked sons. Eli's sons were scoundrels. They had no regard for the Lord. Now it was the practice of the priest that whenever any of the people offered a sacrifice, the priest's servant would come with three-pronged fork in his hand while the meat was being boiled, and would plunge the fork into the pan or kettle or cold in a pot. Whatever the fork brought up, the priest would take for himself. This is how they treated all the Israelites who came to Shiloh. But even before the fat was burned, the priest's servants would come and say the priest was sacrificing. Give the priest some meat to roast. He won't accept boiled meat from you, but only raw. If the person said to him, let the fat be burned first, and take whatever you want, the servant would answer, no, hand it over now. If you don't, I'll take it by force. But Samuel was ministering before the Lord, a boy wearing a linen ephod. Each year's mother made him a little robe and took it to him when she went on with her husband to offer the annual sacrifice. Eli would bless Elkanah and his wife, saying, May the Lord give you children by this woman to take place on the one she prayed for, the, for and grave to the Lord. Then they would go home. And the Lord was gracious to Hannah. She gave birth to three sons and two daughters. Meanwhile, the boy Samuel grew up in the presence of the Lord. Now Eli, who was very old, Covered about everything his sons were doing to all Israel and how they slept with the women who served at the entrance of the tent of meeting. So he said to them, Why do you do such things, my sons? I hear from all the people about these wicked deeds of yours. No, my sons, 
The report I hear is spreading among the Lord's people is not good, you, but you are a player. If one person sins against another, God may mediate for the ascender. But if anyone sins against the Lord, who will intercede for them? His sons, whoever did not listen to their father's rebuke, for it was the Lord's will to put them to death. And the boy Samuel continued to grow in stature and in favor with the Lord and his people. Prophecy against the house of Eli. Now, a man of God came to Eli and said to him, This is what the Lord says. Did I not clearly reveal myself to your ancestors' family when they were in Egypt under Pharaoh? I would choose your ancestor out of the tribes of Israel to be my priest, to go up to my altar to burn incense, and to wear an ephod in my presence. I also gave your ancestors' family other food offerings presented by the Israelites. Why do you score my sacrifice and offering that extracts my dwelling? Why do you honor your sons more than by me by fashioning yourselves with the choice to pass every offering made by the people's sisters? Huh? Huh? Therefore, the Lord, the God of Israel, declares, I promise that members of your family will witness up before me forever. But now the Lord declares, Far be it from me. Those who honor me, I will honor, but those who despise me, I will be disdained. The time is coming, and I'll cut short your strength and turn a piece of house, so that no one in it will reach old age, and you will see distress in my dwelling. Although good will be done to Israel, no one in your family line will ever reach old age. Everyone that does not count off the sermon on my altar, I will spare. I will destroy your size and soul from strength, and all your sentence will die in the prime of the life. And what happens to your two sons, Hophni and Phineas, will be assigned to you. They will both die on the same day. I will raise for myself a faithful priest who will do according to what is in my heart and mind. I will firmly establish a priestly house, and they will minister before him my anointed waste. Then everyone left in your family line will come and bow down before him in a piece of silver and love from Britain plead. Appointing me some priestly prophets so I can have some food to eat. Well, guys, you know what I'm saying. A lion will have gone in the bay. Be faithful to him, or he will die. But anyways, guys, thank you all for listening. It's been a pleasure. Love, bro. I am the Daily Dabber, and this is.